If you have had breast implants and now you're experiencing problems, well, before you consider surgery again, there are some important facts to consider. Dr. Patty Flynn is a board-certified plastic surgeon, has not only enhanced many women, she's also helped helped many women who have experienced problems. And good to see you, Dr. Flynn. You as well, Terry. Thank you. Now, when women come to you after they have had um, implants or any other type of breast surgery, what are some of the most common problems that they're experiencing, and, and how long does it take to experience those problems? Occasionally, women will develop scar tissue around their implants, which can make the breast feel firmer than we'd like or distort shape. That's probably the most common. Mm. Also, malposition of implants can occur, where the implant moves out of the pocket it was originally put in and can sit too low or too too far to the outside of the chest. Are those common? Common problems? Uh, fairly common. I think if you do your research and pick a board certified plastic surgeon to begin with, mm. you have a very low chance of having these sorts of problems, but occasionally they occur and they, there are good options now for improvement. Okay, good. Well, and the good news is, is that you can help these women. So let's take a look at, at one of the patients that you were able to help and tell me when we see this before picture, what, what was her problem when she came to you? Uh, this woman had experienced scar tissue on more than one occasion. So in the left before photo, you notice the breast looks very round, very firm, very tight, and it's very firm to the touch. She was having some discomfort as well. Oh. So I was able to remove the implant and the scar tissue and then use a product called Stratus, which has the lowest rate of developing recurrent scar tissue of any product out there. So it's basically just a skin that's placed over the implant inside the breast pocket that prevents scar tissue redevelopment. And you'll never even know it's there. Oh, so it's on the inside? Inside. Exactly right. Wow. And, and for women that you choose to use this product on, um, is this something that will last a, a long time? Absolutely. In fact, your own blood supply grows into it, so it's not even visible on mammograms. You don't feel it. You don't see it. Uh, so it's a really tremendous innovation for women that have these sorts of problems we've been talking about. Wow. Okay. Let's take a look at the next patient here and see uh, the before picture. Tell me what what she was experiencing. Her implants were saline implants placed by another surgeon. I didn't do any of these cases myself to start with and the implants had dropped much too low so uh, actually without the uh, nipples covers you would see her nipples are very high on the breast mound and mm -hmm. she just felt her breasts were just too low for her frame. Mm -hmm. So I was able to remove these old larger implants and replace them with smaller silicone implants in much better position and the stratus allows me to hold the implant where I want it to sit and create a new pocket for it with excellent support and not have to use her own tissues that were fairly thinned out because of these large heavy implants. And the stratus, is that used mainly in, in repair? I for you would revisionary use this, surgery. Okay, just yeah. in revisionary surgery. Yes. Uh -huh. Okay, yeah. That, and it looks like possibly that she, her implants maybe were too big to begin with. They it's, absolutely were, yeah. and that's why she developed the problem that she had. Okay, now this picture right here, this patient is lying down, and if you look at the, the right side of your screen there, clearly you can see that she is having an issue. What is, what is the problem here? She has a couple of different issues. She also had large saline implants placed by another surgeon years ago, and the implants have malpositioned to the outside of her chest, practically out in her armpits, and she also had palpable and visible rippling of her implants because the tissues had thinned out. Mm. So I used a smaller silicone implant, put it into a much better position, and secured it there with the use of stratus. She also had a lift because the tissues had stretched quite a bit because of her large implant she had before. And with that combination procedure, she's extremely happy with her result. Wow, wow. And now, when I, you said this to me earlier, you said, you know what, the best way to prevent any of these issues is really pick a good qualified surgeon and, and go in and with the right questions. Right, I think you have to do your research. Uh, board certification in plastic surgery is so important, mm -hmm. as is experience. But listen to the doctor. If they tell you the implants you're considering are too large for your frame, there's a reason you're being given that advice. Yeah, absolutely. Dr. Flint, always good information. Thank you so much. Let me tell you about a special offer that Dr. Flint is offering you, our Sonoran Living Live viewers. You just mentioned Sonoran Living Live when you book your consultation. And guess what? She will give you $100 credit towards your surgery. Just two locations to choose from. Dr. Flynn is located in Old Town Scottsdale and one office in Mesa, 480-945-3300, or look her up at pattyflintmd.com.